things and stuff. How's it going? Well, I was just about to be all howdy howdy, but then you kind of lost steam there at the beginning, so now I'm not really motivated to say anything. <laughs> I decided to go with shock tactics <laughs> to catch everyone off guard. Speaking of off guard, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not prepared for this. How do we square? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, we're the bittersweet gamers. I'm the opinionator. I am recovering from a very mild cold. The only reason I bring it up is if my voice cracks like I am a 13-year-old. Uh, that's probably what it's from. So yeah, we're gonna do this. We've actually made quite a lot of progress in a lot of characters. Yeah. And we just got Nenji. So we're gonna go ahead and run with him. We're expecting that this will lead us to Hijiyama at some point. I'm hoping soon, because Jesus, he's been sitting here for how long? And we've only done the prologue, because that's all we've had available. <laughs> right. Then there's still two other characters, Goto and Shinonome. And so if we end up with those people, we'll really want to do their prologue in first stage, too. Get them all started, you know? But after that, then we really are just going to pick somebody and literally go as far as we can. Because I just don't think we're going to have another thing where we have, like, boys, boys, boys. I also hope we don't have another thing like that. All right. Bread loaf. <laughs> I guess when you put it like that, <laughs> maybe you've got a point. And of course, they're still I constantly talking to each other. Well, they're almost the most important characters in each other's stories. Yeah. Still, though. <laughs> Is this after Tomy's? Who knows when hey, this is? are you even listening? What the hell just happened? Huh? Wait. Shit, the... The train. Like, train goes by and it might pass into a different world after that. It just went off the rails and... I didn't know you could sleep standing up. No, this is... The same platform as before. The hell is this? It's called Deja Vu. It's when there's a glitch in the Matrix and... Oh, wait. We were in that train car, and then the whole thing got knocked off the line. So, how are we here? No way we would have walked away from an accident like that. As we've pointed out, they don't appear to have the ability to die. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what that means. It's just like, they'll always somehow be okay, and we never see anybody else's bodies. Mm-hmm. Again, the... No wreckage from the terror carrier, no bodies, people disappearing. That may not be potentially the most important thing in the game, but, but it might do, be. But they do keep mentioning it and kind of indirectly pointing at it, you know? Yeah, I just can't imagine it means nothing. Yeah. Kisaragi, weren't you on that train too? How do we get back here? You mean the train I'm about to get on? You're... About to? Short term, time travel. <laughs> You're being weirder than usual. Are you okay, man? Back in time. Look, just... I need you to listen to me, okay? Uh, whoa, what are you getting so serious about? <laughs> what are you reacting like that for? It's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> You get stat boosts if Nenji is in the team. <laughs> I'm saying, I've been on this platform before. Well, duh, this is how you get to school every day. Oh, is Nenji's story going to be something like Final Destination? He just keeps, like, seeing him and his friends dying and then jumping back and then, like, avoiding it? Oh, that'd be really interesting. No, I mean, just now. I was here. <sighs> uh, is this, like, a set up for a joke? No, wait. I remember. It wasn't even my train. Meanwhile, she's thinking, uh, why do I actually like this guy? <laughs> I got on the semi-express to go after you, Kisaragi. Ah, oh, crap, that's why. You and I were together the whole time, right? <laughs> uh, I think I'd know if we were together. Not what I meant, but okay. Meanwhile, the old man is sitting there reading the newspapers like kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> He's enjoying himself. <laughs> it's the same station. <sighs> oh, why are you following? Should have figured you assholes would still be here. 
Hold on, hold on. That's, uh... That's Wajima and his cronies. Okay, the middle-aged man-looking guy is Shacho, <laughs> and, like, the skinny dude with the pompadour is Nobu, and the other two guys don't matter. Uh, <laughs> How mean. Tera, Teru is the normal-looking guy, and Masa is the guy whose face we won't see. See? See? Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. You guys need some new material. The hell are you trying to say to me? I'm saying you're not funny. I think it's about time we settled our shit. <sighs> we already did. I beat your ass into the ground. I guess that didn't count either. Well, crawled up your ass anyway. I don't really want to know the answer to that. <laughs> Heard you were talking shit on the Cody High gang. I know I was. I was making fun, pri making fun of primarily Masa. He doesn't have a face. <laughs> Saying all we got is strength in numbers. Now, now hold on. If I'm looking at Masa there, doesn't it actually look like he's sporting a beard? Look I think that's just the shadow from his chin. Yeah, isn't that weird? That is really strange, though. Why are we wasting time on this? News to me. No more running. We settle this right here, right now. Again. For reals this time. Uh. Hey, hold on. What the heck's going on? Cut that out. Relax. I'm not going to do the same fight twice. I don't have time for that shit anyway. What do we got here? I do know that he's gotten in trouble. If he gets in another fight, he might get expelled, yeah. something like that. Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. Oh, dude, 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 no, no, no. Hello, police. I'd like to report an impending murder. Yeah, if you do that, then he's just going to have to beat you up. <laughs> and really, it'll be worth the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. What the hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on! Hey, stop it! <laughs> to the surprise of no one! You know, he'll... <sighs> Nenji will just be like, I'm not gonna waste my time, this is stupid. They start insulting Tomi, and he's like, I'm just gonna crush you all. <laughs> Man, not again. Damn it! You insult my girl, and then you make her mad at me. You guys suck. Don't come to me again, or I'll kick your ass again. Well, that's my train. Bye, or whatever. Hey, wait! You can't get on that. You're gonna regret it. You're being super weird right now. Look, shut up and listen. Uh, you can't get on that. I can't, huh? So you can just decide that for me? It's not like, like you can just tell me what to do. She is really sensitive to that, isn't she? Yeah, just in general. Yeah, I mean, I, I like Kisaragi well enough, but like Goto tries to tell her some obvious things. You know, it's like the, unfortunately we're time refugees. I know this sucks. But you have to do these things. You have to, like, act within a certain set of parameters. And she's like, you can't tell me what to do. Well, remember, she wanted to go to her apartment when she came back to her time, which implies she was living by herself. She may just have a really strong independent streak. No, she was living with her parents. Oh, I guess I misunderstood that then. She most definitely has a strong independent streak. I, I mean, that's what we're pointing out. I'm so done with you. Damn it! It's just like before. What an interesting way to start, and it's gonna loop, see? Yeah! Oh, Billy, we're finally gonna get that time loop we've been asking for for years. <laughs> what a friendly looking man! What an odd observation! So Kisaragi always gets on that train, and the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. How the hell can I make her understand? Unfortunately, Nenji is very bad with words. Yeah. What? Why are you here? This isn't even your train, right? Also, 
Oh, now he's not gonna do it. Do what? The way he kind of like that. How he's like all kind of embarrassed thinking while walking and just like rubbing his hair down. I mean, have you ever, why don't you get up and try walking around slumped forward while rubbing the back of your head? That sounds like you'd be painful on my back. Work out your posture, man. You're not listening to me, damn it. Because you're not making any sense. What, you just wanted to have the last word? Wait, that's it. This is the same thing as before. You got all mad at me, so I went after you. So, when was this? Tommy! <laughs> You've already traveled through time with this guy! Multiple times! Well, at least once. Oh, yeah, but she's traveled through time well, at least one other time. Oh, oh, okay, I was specifically talking... Uh, yeah, with Nenji, yeah. But you're right, that makes it even more ridiculous. Well, can't do much now that I'm back here, I guess. You're such a psycho. I don't know if you're just a delinquent or whatever, but I've never liked thugs like you. Oh, yeah? Y yeah, guess I should have figured. <laughs> no goddamn way. They're even showing up here. Mori Mora didn't say anything about this. I remember now. This is what happened to the other train. <sighs> They're showing up in 85? Ooh. Before the end? Uh, isn't that Kizaragi. Isn't that bad? Uh yes? <sighs> Where? What the hell happened? What are all these lights? How do I get out of this thing? <sighs> he would remember. <laughs> <You> okay. <clears throat> Wait, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> if you recall, Ogata was not on the SIU director's list. Wasn't he? He wasn't. I don't believe he was. I don't recall Yuki going over all the names. No, but when she ran into him, oh, good she point. didn't point it out, whereas she did with everyone else. Oh, good point. It could be that he accidentally ends up in a sentinel. I remember. The train got derailed and... Wait. He's a ruggy. Connection established. Can you hear me, Ninja Okaka? Who's there? What the hell's going on? That's Okino, wasn't it? Where is the key? That sounds like it. What key? What the hell are you talking about? Look, where's Kisaragi? There was a girl with me, right? Is she okay? I need the decode key. Where is it? Uh oh. I don't know, man. Do you have Kisaragi or not? I'm sending you back. Listen, you have to find the key. Hey, answer me! I, I see. <laughs> I guess when you put it like that, maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. Still, though... Uh. Hey, are you even listening? I'm back. It's happening all over again. This is gonna be a long prologue. <laughs> oh, or that's it. Do you think we should go ahead and do it? It just seems like maybe we should go ahead with Kisaragi, because this seems to be happening after that. Yeah! Because Kisaragi knew Ogata in Ogata's story, but they just really met for the first time in Kisaragi's story. Yeah, yeah! Oops. Whereas Hijiyama the Jacket Snatcher happened then, which I realized that was a long time ago. That's when Ogata waps... Mira. But this... It's when, like, well before this is when he was back with Yeah, I Kisaragi. agree, we should do Kisaragi. Yeah, we, we were intending to just go forward to, to do, like, the first Nenji stage, but... Eh, you know what? All that stuff that we said, well, it's not like it's not true, but... <laughs> let's just go well, forward well. with Kisaragi. Because, yeah. darn it, I like yeah. how things happen. <laughs> I just like that things happen in it. I guess we're just not credible about what we're doing. When have we ever been? Well, I, you know, that reminds me of when we were doing Persona 5. Uh-huh. We asked for a vote, and 
Welcome back, Usami-chan. So many people made these long, 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 long arguments about why we ought to just pick for ourselves uh -huh. instead of leave it up to the audience, and that lost by, like, three votes. And I was like, but considering how much work got put into the one that lost by three votes, and even though you guys know that my top choice is the one that won, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and do the pick for ourselves. And, man, we just got so many complaints about that. Ugh. Maybe we aren't credible, though. Thanks. Suppose if we just went with popular opinion like everybody else, then we'd have credibility. Oh, crap, I better get back to this. David! What, what bitterness! <laughs> Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I've been thinking, when all this happened, we were at school, right? Maybe we should try going there. You think that'll help? Well, you know. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. You might also be able to find food, too. Oh, yeah, but, most definitely. But, well, maybe. Food and water are something they really need to be concerned about, because there's four of them, and they don't have any. Yeah. That's where we time-slipped from. Oh, maybe we can find a clue on how to get back. Anything. There might be a parked DeLorean there. That'd be convenient. You know, you might be onto something, Miwako. The school. Morimura was always there. So I'm thinking, maybe there's a time machine there. <laughs> Morimura? You mean our teacher? Oh, yeah. That nurse with the big knockers. <laughs> Highly accurate. Don't think that that's not what every single boy in school or, or like the adults think. She's from the future too. She's obviously very competent, very smart. That doesn't, none of that uh, is right, insulting. Right. It's just, you can't miss the fact that they're, like, proportionately way too big. <laughs> I'm saying this. <laughs> In fact, she came even farther than me. You gotta be kidding me. You should eat something, too. Eh, uh, I've done worse. Don't worry about me. <sighs> Chocolate. Uh, There's hey. no time to be tired. I was sure hoping I could give it to what him. I need. But he, <laughs> <laughs> but he said that he didn't like candy anyway. Yeah. Because he's sensible. <laughs> well, not a lot we can do from here. If we're gonna go, we gotta head out before it gets dark. What do you think? You're right. Just let me rest for a sec. Let's go back to the school. What about that second year? We're just gonna leave her here? <sighs> Oh, yeah. I'll stay here with Senpai. It was your idea. Well, you'd probably be better here anyway. Yeah. You two go on ahead. Appreciate it. We'll come back as soon as we can. Gonna trip if you keep running like that. <laughs> Rough roads over here. Well, aren't you cool? It took a while to get here with that blocked off road. Some of us have our eye on the time. Yeah, BSG. Some people think about doing things in a timely manner. We aren't those people. <sighs> things take as long as they take. Yeah. The hell is that? A sentinel. Juro sentinel. Right. That's one gnarly robot. Specifically, Izumi. Yeah. This is where he quote-unquote died. Yeah. Another kaiju thing? No. This is Sentinel number 13. A robot that fought to protect the city. We got kaiju fighting robots now? Dude, that's badass, he says. <laughs> the future's wild, man. <laughs> but I guess in the end, it lost, huh? <sighs> Anyway, we're kind of up a creek here. Look. The road's nothing but rubble. Even if we tried to climb down, the other side's no better. And if you screw around with no equipment, not dressed properly... You could seriously screw yourself up. It's one thing if you had, like, no, man, I am a rock climbing hobbyist. I have done this for a long amount of time, so I know what to do. Neither of them are that. <laughs> Guess we gotta turn back and take the long way around. Like, look at Kisanagi's shoes. Do you think you can do any serious climbing through rough terrain with that? Oh, heck no! Let's do it soon. I'm worried about Miwako. The last time I saw this thing, it was right before I got taken away. 
<laughs> of course, of course. Naturally. Now, this is a moment that we were really curious about. Mom! She's not here either. Kisaragi-kun. Oh. Please don't trouble me any further. Come. We must evacuate. Just give me a second. I'm not leaving without my mom. You must. You're the only one capable. What the is... Daimos invasion has already begun. What does that mean? The only one capable. Of using a sentinel, presumably? Hmm. Even if it isn't that, it is ultimately going to be related to that in yeah. some way. Listen to me. No! We're already within their attack range. Hmm? A sentinel? It's too soon for another deployment. This is Juro. Izumi? I'm going to take them on. What are you doing piloting that? This is Sentinel number 13. There's no one else who can pilot it but me. Sorry to rush you, but we're running out of time. I'll go when I find my mom. <sighs> Miss Morimura. Change of plans. Juro Izumi's made his choice. His nanomachines aren't going to hold much longer. If we don't begin the test now, we'll miss our chance. The evacuation can wait. The test? Hurry and bring that girl over. The evacuation can wait for this test. Huh. And about this, Battle of 2025, this is the second Battle of 2025. Remember? Yeah. Because this is the first Battle of 2025 where Tetsuya Ida confesses to Tomi Kisaragi, Kisaragi, who's talking about the pear tart and her home. Then later on, yeah, still in 20, well now in 2024, not 25. The thing is, is this is like the third episode in a row that I've done this to you, Billy. And <laughs> each time you've been like, you're, you're right. But that's because it, it bears repeating and it's hard to keep track of stuff well, like that. This sort of stuff's really confusing on a base level. So, Tomi is looking for her mom, and this is when Izumi, quote-unquote, dies. Yeah. Now, ah, what the heck? May as well just keep on going. <sighs> Don't worry, Nenji, I promise we'll come back to you. And we'll come back to everybody, too. It's just I want to catch up. I want to do their story semi-chronologically. Huh? Makes sense. Miwako? Usami-chan! What's up? What happened? Shinonome-senpai, she's gone! Well, at least she's okay for oh. a given definition of okay. Unless something took her. What? I guess we have seen those Terminator mofos wandering around. I only looked away for a second. What should we do, Sami-chan? Indeed, she is not on the bed. <laughs> How far could she be? She wasn't exactly in a state to be running any marathons. We need to find her. I mean, as far as we can tell, she's always wandering around with bandages. We don't actually know her given healthy state at any time. She might still be nearby. Let's split up and look around. Got it. Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. Maybe she went off to the shopping district. That was quick. <sighs> Not a trace. She must have gone real far. Oh, where could she have gone? I don't know what to do. So what now? Should we keep looking? I have no idea. Let's see here. Ah, that's we how it works. It Dead Kaiju, my apartment, Sentinel Third, well, and Sakura High School. Well, that that's the same things. Yeah, but, you know, she might be there this time. Well, let's try going here. I'm gonna go check out the kaiju. You stay here, Miwako. 
Never know when that second year might come back. Shinonome Senpai? Hey, this thing's dangerous. You know that, right? I imagine that this might finally be when we get to unlock her. Yeah, that makes sense. But... Ten minutes. I'm not hanging around here any longer than that. I don't see her. Nothing in there. All right, then. I guess we out. Where is she? She couldn't have gone far. Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. Thrilling! <laughs> no good, huh? Looks that way. All right. Let's check somewhere else. All right. The question is, is, is she going to be in the last place we look? Like, does it... That's why, to that's why I'm not going there. Because <laughs> that's where she is. Yeah, it would have to be. She even also pilots a G2. Yeah. And if we're going to look at it like that, she's got number 14. Meaning she might just kind of be standing around staring at 13. I wouldn't know why, but... So we really do just have to wander around Did and look. I come back? And check every Did area. See her? It's kind of yeah. awkward, isn't it? Yeah. There's no sign of her anywhere. All righty. I'm going to check on my house. Usami chan. Not that I hey, expect wait. her to be at my house, but you know. You stay here, Miwako. Is it really important to go through that every time? You know, do do we really get some value? I wonder if Senpai's here. I, I don't think so. Hey, there are a reason you picked this place? Well, maybe she's gotten hungry. There's a lot of food places here. True. She couldn't have eaten while she was knocked out. What is that? Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like an RC helicopter. Now, does that mean Natsuno or A? Yes. Is that thing with the kaiju? They're both lurking around here. Any luck? Not around here. Where is she? She couldn't have gone far. Nothing in there. How do you know? You never went up. Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. I think I'm just going to start walking up to people who are crouching <laughs> and ask them if they found footprints. I think that's a valid question to be asking. Guess this was the wrong place. Where do you think she went? Who knows? I don't got a clue. I guess we'll head back for now. High school! Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Did you find footprints? <laughs> I mean, we never actually got to the school in the last runaround. Clearly, they, they, were, they were here. They did come, based on the way they're talking. Yeah, this looks awful. The hell? The North Building's gone. And the schoolyard's totally caved in. Oh, look at that. Over in the pit. Oh! A high quad. That another construction machine? Yes. I bet that's what dug the hole. What's the point? They trying to make a nest or something? <laughs> I see. Why don't we go back and check the uh, sentinel? Fair enough. Get it knocked out. Yeah. I don't want to be left in one of those situations like with Judo. What about the sentinel we saw? Where we, where we don't know for there. sure if it was a dead end or not? I'm sure it was a dead end, but I see an empty looking place on my flowchart. I want to fill it in. <laughs> Big guy did stand out. You want to go? Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Especially Pew. since nothing's going to be there. 
Why here? I figured if Senpai's trying to get to the school, she'd probably come this way. Logical. All oh, right. She wouldn't know about the messed up road. A sentinel, huh? <laughs> Denji! Did you find footprints? Did you find the footprints? You're... And whose footprints are you looking for? Ryoko Shinonome's! You're not even... There's no road where you are looking! He's looking for footprints all the way down there. And <laughs> why is it that if there's something ridiculous and constant, it always has to do with Shinonome? <laughs> Thought I had something. Nope. Anyway, we need to find a lead. Hey, now we got that taken care of, so I'm quite happy. But now we should be able to just jump to that checkpoint instead of having to hop back and go back here. Oh, you're right. Interstellar development. That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Maybe there's something down there, underground. Like a giant... UFO or something. Like what? More dirt? I'm just saying. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Anywhere. Let's keep looking around. There's not even any bodies. Anywhere. Maybe the entire population is somehow being shuttled around to different times, but... I mean, isn't that weird? That would be incredibly weird, yes. Speak of the devil. You've been fighting those Terminators, huh? Shinonome, Senpai. Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? I still yes, there's our chin. <laughs> uh oh! Exterminate! Exterminate! No, those are Daleks, Billy! <laughs> Run! <laughs> or walk away briskly! We're surrounded! Uh... Thank you! Nothing you can do about that. Serves you right. So, it was, BJ was with A. And I like that. Zamamido! Hey, uh, thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Huh. Yeah. Any of you. Are you the only ones here? No, there's somebody right over there. But the game won't let us go and look at him. Ah. Oh. Shinonome-senpai is... Uh... No longer there, obviously. Ninji, go check for her footprints! <laughs> she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago. I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko-san's here too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. He's from 2065, as far as we can tell. Yes, that's, far, that's the uh, farthest forward we've seen him. And we also know th that what A said here, which was the earliest that we saw A, is that he wanted Morimura and Ida to stop using Shinonome Senpai, yeah, he says. Yeah, So if he would have seen her, then he probably would have been like, ah! Right. But we don't know what their connection is or what any of that means. How do you know Kisaragi? That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. Well, it's not that we're still here. More like they got pulled here. So it told you about us. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. Huh. Ryoko-san was with you, correct? I thought she would have returned already. Well, she was kind of unconscious for, you know, a day or so. Maybe that's why she was here. What do you mean? You know, A uh, seems to know that she's here. Uh-huh. 
Like maybe she was here doing something. Oh, and like got, he is, and got hurt somehow. I see. Uh, if memory serves, I think she was crouched in front of one of the androids, and it was missing when it panned back to where she was standing. So I think she ran off with one. I might be misremembering. All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too. We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. See, they don't know that they need to get under the school to find the UFO. Yeah. But he does. Yeah, yeah. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Down there? That's where we need to go? Correct. You know, maybe we should have just played all the battles and then started with Kisaragi, period. It's just the most chronological thing where the characters are just doing things mm -hmm. and they're actually having events that are happening to them. Instead of just constantly recalling in the middle of recalling. Yeah. I wonder what we're going to do next. Let's find out. <sighs> Let's ride this train all the way to the end. No, the train is in Nenji Ogata's. Why you gotta, why you gotta bust my balls like that? Miwako, Usami-chan. Did you find Shinonomi-senpai? Yes and no? <laughs> in a word, yes, but... She ran off somewhere near the school. Guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? So, way back in Daily Life is Strange, Miwako and Tomi, while talking to Iori, talk about A and tease yeah. Iori about her liking A Sekigahara. Yeah, yeah. The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? I yeah. Let's roll. Hard to say if we can trust the Sekigahara guy. But let's hurry. Hold on. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. Yay! She's finally coming with us! Have you found any footprints? There's a huge crater by the school. That's where we're going. Oh, really? Where'd the robot bodies go? Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. Is this that robot you were talking about? That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android here? Yeah. Thank you! Okay! Well, it's the same disappearing bodies, disappearing wreckage that keeps coming up. Well, when it showed up, I thought there were going to be more, uh, like, on, on the side, but... Now that you mention it, yeah. Ugh. Ryoko-san. Huh. Interesting. So what the heck does this mean? So you still don't remember. They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. Get him. 426, your time is up. Who's using her? Is she trying to beat me down there? The Dimos, I assume. No way. It's it's got to be one of the Tetsuya Ida Chihiro Morimura conflict. <laughs> Shinonome Senpai can control the androids. She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. After all, nobody ever said these were kaiju. Well, I, I mean, they, they called them that, but. I don't know. I mean, they're all Shikishima tech. What's the report? From some time. Yeah. Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. That must be so convenient. Having a flying drone? Yeah. And, like, being able to go from walking to just, like, kind of hop up in the air and then, like, whoosh and whip out the gyros and away you go. <laughs> so how are we supposed to get down there? 
isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. We'll use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. What about your friends? Hmm? Y yes? They're okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was worried. What's on your mind? That guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. Well, he shot the robots that were attacking us, so... We don't have much of a choice. Besides, aren't you hanging around with a delinquent kid? I mean, he's got a fist. <laughs> don't worry, I keep my fist set to stun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, murder statistics in the U.S., uh, fists and feet are still the most popular choice. You <laughs> use what you got. Let's go. Wait for us. Ryoko son. Wait. What in the fresh hell is this? <laughs> uh -huh. For me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Uh, she's fine. Yeah. Uh, there is nothing wrong with being creeped out by a situation like this. Come the F on! <laughs> Look, the same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. And thank goodness you're here. Yeah! Mr. Biometrically Recognized Shikishima board member. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. Well, you are. <sighs> Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? She's acting just like Judo is, where she'll just completely deny the past and then immediately go into talking about the past. You yeah. remember how we saw that? Like when yeah. Iori Fuyusaka was talking to him about his dreams and he was like, oh, come on. I don't, I've don't. i never said anything like that. And, and then he was like, you said... Something out. Well, yeah, and she was like, you said these things to me. And he was like, ha ha ha, yeah, whatever. And then immediately goes into talking about dream mode. Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Yeah. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. The pills of amnesial <laughs> that Judo Kurabe also takes. Yeah. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Miura! Uh-huh. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Looks like something out of a movie set. Miwako? Where'd Miwako go? Okay, okay. Huh. Does I... that mean Miura is operating the drone? Oh, operating BJ remotely? Well, that may not be BJ. Or does it mean something else? Hmm. Usami-chan, the way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. Don't worry. We'll be home soon. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment. But she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Ugh. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. That must be what he is later on going undercover to find out. Yeah. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. He mentioned the pills were in Sector 4. Did he? Yeah, he did a little bit ago. Check the log. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. And what Sector 4? We is... heard one of the colonies was referred to as a Sector. Yeah, and 2025 is like Sector 3, so Sector 4 could be 1985. Yeah. <laughs> what? Look at the little little BJ icon on the monitor in yeah. front of the drone. It's cute. Okay, if 2105 is Sector 1, 2065 is Sector mm. 2, 
three, because 2025 is in the middle, it always would add up if you looked at right. sectors like this. But then 1985 would be four. Yeah. But they've also, the sectors have also been referred to as space colonies. So yeah. there's that too. Looks like something else. Not of... you! This machine, is Mori Mora using it too? She's the reason we're able to use it at all. This functionality was her handiwork. Yeah, what? What could this be? It looks like the thing that activates activate the sentinel, yeah. What's going on? Please respond. This is number 16. <sighs> number 16? That's the one who's been missing. Number 16. Tommy! Tommy's Sentinel. Tommy's Sentinel. Is everything okay? I finally got through. Kisaragi, what are your coordinates? Yeah. <laughs> Kisaragi? That's. Or is the person that they're talking to Miyuki Inaba? Right? My current location is unknown. My sentinel. And even myself. I don't know what condition we're in. <laughs> and it's gone as suddenly as it appeared. Okay, somebody needs to, to tell Kisaragi about this Kisaragi thing. Sentinel number 16 went completely off the radar after that incident I mentioned. Okay. What did you do? How did you make contact? All I did was poke this thing. Yes? Can you poke it again? That voice from the TV screen, didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? You know, Tetsuya Ida is looking to save the singer trap somewhere. Uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Is that it? Hey, just now, did you call that person Kisaragi? Yeah, this is really important. <laughs> Kisaragi is the control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because he is you. Oh, well, that's what we thought. Rather, a different you. Huh? I get it now. No, 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 don't, don't derail the conversation, that's important! <laughs> Tomi Kisaraki. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. So the person talking is Miura. Yes. Give it another try. Huh? Kisaraki, please respond. If you're there, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. If the answer is troubling... Oh? I'm... outside the world. Uh oh! What does that mean? Outside the world. This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. I'm just saying, <laughs> this seems to kind of validate some of the stuff that we were talking about. At the very least, a less than reliable reality, regardless of what they're telling us about it. Whatever it turns out to be, there's clearly something else. Yeah, there's a lot the game's telling us that we, rightfully so, have not been trusting. <laughs> and it also still reminds me of Megazone 2-3, but anyway. It's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. Universal control? Maybe that's like the big AI in charge of everything? If there is such a thing, then that would be it. At this rate, I'll... Maybe it's Skynet. It just closes right away now. What's this universal thing? Yeah, what is that? Universal control. It's here, where the primary gate is housed. This underground mainframe monitors the world. Her location. It appears the mainframe does not want us to know. Looks that way. I like how you didn't answer my question. This is bad. The androids are coming. Shit. They're over here.
here too. Uh. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. We need to shift. Gather close. Yeah, there's nothing they can do about this. Mm -hmm. Now! He's out! And now they're in 85. Uh oh! Uh, um, g guys! This is. Guys? Uh, has nobody noticed? No, it doesn't seem so. I know this shrine. It's by the school. We know that she's okay because we know she's in the story later, but where'd she go? Sweet. Well, she'll just be picked up by someone else wandering through time. You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Uh, Miwako? Kayaki chose down that way. I'll be damned. We really made it back. That's great, Nenji, but we need to focus on something more important at the moment. Yeah, like, that's really cool and stuff, but, uh... We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! But, of the people here, one person is not like the others. You're right! You're right. She's gone. I am right. Did you see any footprints? <laughs> we must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. Uh-huh. The people here, everyone in the city. Well, then that means that whatever warped them there to begin with wasn't the same thing. What do you mean? The thing that warped them to that time to begin with brought Miwako. Oh, that's right! Yeah! We're all managed by that computer underground. So it wasn't a shifter gate or anything like that, it was something else. Uh, everyone's managed by universal control. The main computer in the quote-unquote alien <laughs> UFO. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. Is that so? <laughs> it must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. So now we have to somehow rescue her. Uh... Yeah, I'm... No, bad, no. <laughs> Obvious bad guy is bad. Universal control? is always going to be the bad guy. <laughs> Which sometimes adjusts the resident's memories or situations and twists the truth in order to eliminate inconsistencies. <laughs> huh. Now, how is a computer able to do that? David, I feel like maybe you're fishing for a specific answer. And this answer might be a theory that we posited near the beginning of the game, in fact. That could be the case, but also... <laughs> I am fishing for other specific answers, too. I just haven't talked about those. Oh, well, I can't give you those answers then if you haven't talked about them. Oh, that's true, but you gave me the one I was looking for. I, I actually don't think that's the case. Uh-huh. But I still don't really understand. Like how it could work otherwise? Yeah. Huh. And the idol Miyuki Inaba isn't really that far... <laughs> After this. Yeah. So yeah, it's Kisaragi. A different a differenter Kisaragi. <laughs> so they are different people from different times or something like that. Yeah. Maybe not times, but dimensions, maybe. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's not. That means that the different versions of them are different people with what they're what they they call the same biometric ID. Yeah. I mean, we were assuming that, that they were different, like all the different Judos and Morimuras and Idas, but sure makes it hard to keep track of, huh? Right? Who the heck's who here? And as expected... 
Oh, ah. we finally ah. can't go any further. Won't be able to do any more of hers until we're all the way through the battles. So in that case, we can either do Nenji's first event or start Shinonome. Let's do Nenji's first event. We teased him and then never pulled through. You know, you're right. And we are losing credibility, I guess. All right. Then after this, of course, is Shinonome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no! I guess when you put it like that... Oh, no! Maybe you've got a point. Oh, no? I should slow down and think a little. Okay, it's, we're, it is something new. <laughs> right, remember this was deliberately looped? That, that's why I've been shouting, oh no, Billy. Yes, I am aware. Still though. Uh, hey, are you even listening? Uh, I'm back. It's happening all over again. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Sounded like Okino, right? It did, yeah. Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. Maybe you were outside the world? Seems to be the case. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Huh. Like an alien lab or something. Hey, maybe Okino is the one... No, no, never mind, never mind. It looked just like that. I was about to accuse Okino of sort of being the villain, but that's really not the case. It's universal control. Um, well, we don't know if Okino isn't, might not be some sort of avatar for it or something. But ultimately, Okino, even though he didn't want himself to be known that he was there, is straight up fighting on the same side that's as these true. guys. So. I was butt naked, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagining myself naked. Yeah. Oi! So Kisaragi always gets on that train, and the train always crashes. Once she's on, she's basically dead. But since she always argues with me, I'll just tell her to get on the train. Hey, yeah. that's a good idea. <laughs> so universal control is fixing this? Is that how it works? How the hell can I make her understand? That's what that guy was saying. All this stuff about how I've got to find a key. No idea what the hell he's talking about. I gotta find a way out of this crazy loop. And right now, the only clue I got is this key thing. We gotta do something! The kaiju are coming! What? Uh -huh. Billy! Where? I mean, like, not yet. They get here after we get on this train. How do you know that? Cause I saw it. Uh... Shit, how do I explain? You're acting kind of weird. Is that it? Okay, it's more complicated. Yeah, it's really getting to me. I'm already sick of all this shit. But what can I do? Man, how'd they find Miwako? I want to know. <laughs> hey, Kisaragi, you don't have some kind of key handy, right? What does that even mean? I have the key to my house. Surely they're not talking about that key to a motorcycle. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. Is this it? I mean, it's got an entry and it's called key. It can't be that simple. But it's got an entry and it's called key. Nah, probably not. What, are they supposed to find the key and then he rides her home on the motorcycle? I, I don't know. Sense. <laughs> I mean, hell, even I've got some house keys. What's this key thing they keep talking about? How the hell do I even find it? What do I do? Just go through everyone's goddamn pockets? You go and beat up Wajima and his goons and then rob them of their keys. I don't think that's it. <laughs> None of this shit makes sense. Hey, where are you going? I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, uh, you don't look so good. Seriously, you're being really weird. Uh. Well, look what we got here. I guess we may as well try Operation Check Wajima's Pockets for Keys. <laughs> Ogata, most punchable face in the city. Uh-huh. Great. This guy. What? You think you're better than me? 
I think it's about time we settled our shit. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? Yeah. No time for this crap. <laughs> How about we talk this out? How about screw you? Hey, you got a key? Hey, you guys got this key thing? <laughs> what key? What the hell are you talking about? I'm the one asking the questions. The key, do you have it? I don't know, man. Just whatever keys you got. <laughs> we really are going Operation Get the Key from Wajima. I, I had my motorcycle key. <laughs> Is that the answer? Wait, he has a motorcycle key? He has a motorcycle key? <laughs> well, my teacher took it away. Yeah, boo freaking who. The teacher? The teacher? <laughs> took the motorcycle key? And, oh. Uh, Wow! And who's the person that he got the key from? From Morimura. Like standing over her dead body or some such. <laughs> no more running. We settle this right here, right now. Guys, <laughs> any comments? No? Okay. Hey! Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> you know you're into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. You'd think that wouldn't get to me anymore. <laughs> but hey, I'm still mad. What a surprise. Insult my girl as often as you like. I'm gonna beat you up every time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, take all their keys. Damn it. <laughs> you know, I cut him off last time, too, so I didn't have to hear his gargle vomit noises. The train's already here. I'm gonna go. Hey, hold it. I mean, just hang on a sec. Okay, so we're doing something. Right. I really need you to stay off that train. Okay, seriously, what's going on? I don't even know how to describe it. Just, it's... It'll be really bad. Look, they're coming. This train's gonna get derailed. It's gonna be a huge accident, okay? Uh, okay, whatever. My train's about to leave. I'm being serious here. You can talk shit on me if you want, but believe me, just this once. Please, don't get on that train. <sighs> so, what do I do instead? Let's just get out of the station. We gotta get out of here while there's still time. That's a pretty good move. Like, get as mad as you want, talk down to me all you want, but like, this one time, please. If we can just get outside this place, that's gotta change something. It worked. Yeah, well, she could tell how serious he was. He wasn't bossing her around, he was begging. Come on, this way! What's wrong? I'm sorry, my ankle hurts. Where? Let me see. Probably a sprain. Get down! Oh god! Those crane arms really are pretty bug like. <laughs> Gone. Huh. I wonder about keys. <laughs> Man, look at them. How are there so many? They destroyed my home. And they'll destroy 1985, too. We can't beat ourselves up over shit we can't change. Maybe there's no way out of this, but we'll never know if we don't run. Come on, we gotta keep going. Well, that was way more contemporary than I was expecting. So what happens if we do something else? Or is it, I mean, this is another base. Huh. Kisaragi! Damn it, I'm back here. 
They showed up in the middle of the city. We couldn't make it out in time. Did you find the key? I don't give a shit about your key. <sighs> Who the hell are you? If you can do all this crazy time crap, then... Then save Kisaragi! Tell me Kisaragi. If you want to save her, you need to cooperate with me. I need you to find that key. If you give me its location, then I'll help her. The, the truth? Yes, I promise. Not like you have too much choice. Still, even if I was lying, you don't have much choice. Oh yeah, I called it! All you can do is trust me. So find that key, and I'll see what I can do. Fine. I guess uh, that explains how we do not continue moving on. Well, let's take a look at the events, and then, you know, that's the end. Because time. Unlike this game, we can't loop time. Our time is finite. Man, that would be so convenient. Well, it does say it's 85. Man, it's actually a little disappointing that it's just different versions of the same people from different times or dimensions or something. Because, like, which which is the one that we're supposed to care about? Uh, the nature of the game naturally leads to that problem because everything's not linear, and so there's it's hard to get attached to a character because we never know at what point in their progression they are. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, am I supposed to be sad if Morimura dies? Am I supposed to be sad if Judo dies? Well, we... there's there's a few more of them running around. It doesn't matter. So, if something bad happens to somebody, aren't there just gonna be more of them? Right? Yeah. Anyway, we'll complain more about it next time! You can count on it! And we're gonna pick up with Miyoko Shinonome! Finally!